this, if you're a fan like me, you'll agree that Carrie and Doctor is among the best movies ever. So do you want to join me today? Grab a chair, sit by the campfire, and we'll live this great show together. We'll travel through the entire cast, past and present, reminiscing about those who have left us and celebrating those who still shine. Are you ready? Let's dive in and rekindle some incredible memories. Charles Hawtrey played the character Mr. Barron in the film when he was 53 years old in 1967. Sadly, on October 27, 1988, he left us due to peripheral vascular disease at 73 in Deal, Kent, England. We're deeply saddened by his passing. Nice bottle of eau de cologne. Now, would you like me to rub some of that on your forehead? Thank you, dear. Great mind, hurry it up. Well, so you're going on all right then? You mean you were in films actually before the Will Hang film? Yeah, oh, Simon. I'll tell you something, you've been the cause of all, an awful lot of trouble many, many times in the Carry On films. What was the one called? Hattie Jackass played the character Matron in the film when she was 45 in 1967. Sadly, on October 6, 1980, she left us due to cancer at 58 in Kensington, London, England. We're deeply saddened by spassing. Talking about? But this is absurd! Nurse May, get her in and ask her. Oh yes, I, I'd like to see her. I, I've heard she's quite... Let me get a word in, have you? <laughs> what? <laughs> Frankie Howard played the character Francis Baker in the movie when he was 50 years old in 1967. Sadly, on April 19, 1992, he left us due to heart failure at 75 in Fulham, London, England. We're deeply saddened by his passing. X-ray? Now, what could be wrong? Oh, well, it's just a precautionary measure, Mr. Baker. I bet you say that to all the girls. <laughs> Do you think you'll be able to sleep all right? Oh, yes, of course you've been... She was married for 10 years. And her husband never said anything to her in those 10 years. Only three words in 10 years. Isn't that disgraceful? I mean, what a way to live. Three, yeah, three words in 10 years. Barbara Windsor played the character Nurse Sandra May in the film when she was 30 years old in 1967. Sadly, on December 10, 2020, she left us due to natural causes at 83 in London, England. We're deeply saddened by passing. That's right, dear Kenneth. Oh, you always think of everything. No, no, what are you doing? You can't stay here. But Kenneth, darling, I came to be... Well, I am old, and I? I mean, uh, <laughs> next year I'll, I'll be celebrating 60 years in the business, and... Uh, it's, well... Sidney James played the character Charlie Roper in the film when he was 54 years old in 1967. Sadly, on April 26, 1976, he left us due to illness at 62 in Sunderland, England. We're deeply saddened by his passing. Cheer me up! Cheer you up? What do you need cheering up about? Lying here being waited on hand and foot, all your meals brought. Don't even have to walk to the lab. Will you get into your thick Uh, carry on, Henry. Uh -huh. And all those lovely wives. What's the next one going to be? Carry on. <laughs> I hate to say it. Carry on at your convenience. I can guess what that's about. Anita Harris played the character Nurse Clark in the film when she was 25 in 1967. See, at the age of 81, she is living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in Miss Summer Norton, Somerset, England. I thought they ought to know the truth. It wasn't fair the way they treated you. Well, can't be helped. And uh, uh, Tommy Cannon, bless him with oh, that, wow. obviously with dear yeah, Bobby, sure. but uh, remembering him with lots of love. Um, uh, the, um... John Sims played the character Chloe Gibson in the film when she was 37 in 1967. Sadly, on June 27, 2001, she left us due to complications from an operation at 71 in Chelsea, London, England. Were deeply saddened by passing. I said you didn't have to go mad. Oh, no, no, it didn't cost me anything. It, it, it was my mother's wedding ring. Really? Oh, you didn't... Really, I had no next-door neighbours. My only friends would be the friends I made at school. And I didn't even go to a local school. I was sent away to Billericay, a bus drive away. And... Bernard Breslau played the character Ken Biddle in the film when he was 33 in 1967. Sadly, on June 11, 1993, he left us from a heart attack at 59 in Regan Park, London, England. We're deeply saddened by his passing. Get to see you somehow. 
Listen, have you heard about Dr. Kilmore? I say I thought it was rotten. Well, some of us are going to try and do something about it. Are you with us? Yeah, rather. Good. Get all the women who can walk. You know, but uh, uh, I hope that uh, they'll have the same flavour. We can recapture the flavour that has obviously appealed to so many people. Certainly, I'm looking forward to it because... Kenneth Williams played the character Dr. Kenneth Tinkle in the film when he was 41 in 1967. Sadly, on April 15, 1988, he left us due to corrosive poisoning by carbon tetrachloride at 62 in Bloomsbury, London, England, where deeply saddened by spassing. In a race of weaklings, neurotic idiots with no emotional stamina or physical stability. No, fortunately, one or two of us left that can still ca and the beds aren't even six foot, my husband can't even stretch out, and you've got a terrible headache, you've got any paracetamol, and this is a rotten hotel. Can, can, please, can I get a word? Jim Dell played the character Dr. Jim Kilmore in the movie when he was 32 in 1967. See, at the age of 88, he's living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in Northamptonshire, England. I was looking for Dr. Tinkle's room. Oh. Oh, that's staff rooms. That's the second floor up. You you turn left as you come out of the lift, and it's the second door on on the left. Too far forward, and they had to stop me every two or three seconds to say, "No, cut that out. Don't keep moving your arms." You know, we can hear it. I thought, I don't know whether this is for me or not, but I. Dandy Nichols played the character Mrs. Robert in the film when she was 60 years old in 1967. Sadly, on February 6, 1986, she left us due to natural causes, 78, in Whitechapel, London, England. We're deeply saddened by her passing. No? But I told you I don't know. They can't find out what's wrong with me. I could tell them. You're bone lazy, that's what's wrong with you. Why do you have to keep on and on and on? You're supposed to come here to cheer me up. Peter Butterworth played the character Mr. Smith in the film when he was 52 in 1967. Sadly, on January 17, 1979, he left us due to heart attack at 63 in Coventry, West Midlands, England. We are deeply saddened by his passing. Sore as hell. You should never have made me had it done. Not at my age. Well, you couldn't go on walking about like that with a great big lump and getting bigger and bigger all the... Derek Francis played the character Sir Edmund Burke in the film when he was 44 in 1967. Sadly, on March 27, 1984, he left us from a heart attack at 60 years old in Wimbledon, London, England. We're deeply saddened by his passing. Do a sit down, Kilmore. Oh, thank you. All right, well, I'm known as a fair man, and I intend to conduct this inquiry in a fair and just manner. Is that understood? Oh, yes. Thank you. Okay, let's chat. Who is your favorite character in Carry On Doctor? Please comment and share interesting things below this video. And as always, show some love. Hit the like button, subscribe to know more, and hit the bell to never miss my new content. I can't wait to create more wonderful memories with you. Thanks so much and stay tuned for more. See you again as soon as possible.